In this video, we are going to see how to solve DFT using various methods. One is the first method to solve DFT is direct method, another one is matrix method. And we also have FFT, which is also known as fast Fourier transform. And uh, it has got two other types. One is decimation in time and another decimation frequency. So we will see one by one. First, let us see how to solve any problem using direct method. So in direct method, uh, we have a formula to solve uh, x of n. So normally for finding DFT, we have a formula. This is given by x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n by n where capital n is equal to the number of elements that is given in the question uh, in this case let us take this example here x of n is equal to 1 0 1 0 which is 4 elements in n so n equal to 4 and uh, small k and small n can be found by using the formula 0, 1 up to n minus 1. So as our uh, n value is 4, it is going to be 0, 1, 2 and 3, n minus 1 is 3. So next, uh, x of n, the value for x of n can be found from the given question. It is, so it is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. And uh, all the other values are known. So now let us proceed how to solve the problem. So for finding x of k, first substitute the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 is n is 4, so n minus 1 is going to be 3 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n by 4. The value for n is 4. So now we have to expand the summation. So the summation we have the limit is n equal to 0 to 3. So substitute n value first. So x of 0 into e power minus j 2 pi k into 0 by 4 plus x of 1 into e power minus j 2 pi k into 1 by 4 plus x of 2 into e power minus j 2 pi k into 2 by 4 plus x of 3 into e power minus j 2 pi k into 3 by 4. So, e power k 0 into anything is going to be 0. So, the whole element is going to be e power minus 0, so which is going to be 1. And the value for x of 0 is 1. So, I am going to write it as 1. Because this value is also 1. 1 into 1 is going to be 1. Plus x of 1. The value for x of 1 is 0. Similarly, the value for x of 3 is also 0. So, what we can do is 0 into anything is going to be 0. So, we can discard these two values. Now, we are left out with x of 2 x of 2, the value for x of 2 is 1. So, it is going to be 1 into e power minus j 4 pi k by 4. These two will get cancelled. So, it is going to be 1 plus e power minus j pi k. So, this is the equation for finding x of k. Now, we have, we have to find the value for x of k. For finding x of k, we have the k is given as 0 to n minus 1. So we have already substituted n here. So now it's we have to substitute k. So put k equal to 0. First value is 0. So x of 0 is equal to 1 plus e power minus j pi into 0. 1 plus e power minus. So 0 and anything is going to be 0. e power minus 0 is 1. So it is Next, k equal to 1, x of 1 is equal to 1 plus e power minus j pi into 1, e power minus j pi, e power minus j pi is that is equal to 1 plus cos pi minus j sin pi, e power minus j pi is cos pi plus minus j sin pi, cos pi is minus 1, sin pi is 0. So, this element will get cancelled. So, it is going to be 1 plus minus 1 which is going to be 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0. Next, k equal to 2. x of 2 is equal to 1 plus e power minus j 2 pi. You know, place 2 here. So, e power j 2 pi which is it is going to be 1 plus e power minus j 2 pi is cos 2 pi minus j sin 2 pi. 
So. Sin 2 pi is 0, so we can discard this element. Cos 2 pi is plus 1, so it is going to be 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2. Next, k equal to 3. x of 3 is equal to 1 plus e power minus j 3 pi. That is equal to 1 plus cos 3 pi minus j sin 3 pi. Sin 3 pi is 0, cos 3 pi is minus 1. So, 1 plus minus 1, that is going to be 0. Now, we have got all the values for x of k because we have found k is 0 to 3 and we have substituted all the values of all the values for k now we have obtained x of k so x of k is write all the values in an order so x of 0 is 2 next 0 x2 x0 so the required answer for x of m is 2020 this is how we have to do the Direct method.